Gothenburg, the second largest city in Sweden, is situated off the Jota Alev River on the country's west coast. Built as a planned city in the 17th century, Gothenburg was a major trading post when the Swedish Empire was at the peak of its powers. An important seaport, it became a center for industries like shipbuilding. Nowadays, it's known for its Dutch-style canals, leafy boulevards, and interesting attractions. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Gothenburg, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Universium. In the center of Gothenburg, Universium is one of the largest science centers in the Nordic countries and a great day out for all the family. Visitors can explore the indoor rainforest or go on safari and get up close to lizards, birds, and many species of monkeys. The ocean tank is home to several different kinds of sharks, the largest one being the sand tiger shark. You can also see moray eels and swordfish, and even touch giant rays as they surface. Number 9 is the Hop on Hop off boat, Gothenburg. Visitors can explore the largest port in the Nordic countries with the Hop on Hop off boat, Gothenburg. Learn the history of the port of Gothenburg, the classic Haga district, and more from an informative guide on board. Hop off whenever you like all day and see the fish market, opera house, the shopping district, and much more. At number 8 is Liseberg. Liseberg is one of Scandinavia's biggest amusement parks and is located just outside of Gothenburg. This thriving park goes back to 1923 and has a traditional character that abounds with greenery and woodland. Its lineup of high-tech rides is constantly evolving, and visitors can enjoy over 40 different attractions, such as Atmosphere, one of the tallest freefall rides in Europe. All ages are accommodated at Liseberg, with adrenaline rides combined with thoughtfully designed kids' amusements, like merry-go-rounds, flying elephants, and dragon boats. Number 7 is Gothenburg Museum of Art. This prestigious museum opened in 1923 in time for Gothenburg's International Exhibition and exhibits one of the finest art collections of Nordic and international artworks in the region. See the works of Carl Larsson, Albert Edelfeld, Rembrandt, Monet, and others, all under one roof. The museum also offers temporary exhibitions, family activities, lectures, workshops, guided tours, a shop, and a cafe. At number 6 is Haga. Haga is one of the oldest and most historic neighborhoods in Gothenburg and dates from the mid-17th century. It is conveniently located to the west and within walking distance of the city center. The pedestrian street is lined with well-preserved houses, many in the characteristic Gothenburg style with one floor in brick and the rest in wood. Today, they house plenty of independent shops and cafes. Number 5 is the Botanical Garden. Gothenburg's sprawling botanical garden covers 175 hectares in the center of the city and also encompasses a nature reserve and arboretum. It offers a vast and impressive collection of plants and flowers and is a great place to visit all year round. Here, you'll find around 16,000 species of plants in different greenhouses, including some extremely rare specimens. At number 4 is the Grand Sightseeing Tour. The port of Gothenburg is one of the biggest ports in the Nordic countries and welcomes over 11,000 ships every year. Visitors can board a comfy cruise liner for the grand sightseeing tour and learn about the shipbuilding history as you cruise around the archipelago. View historical sites along the fairways leading into the port and see the inner and outer port areas and get great views of the islands. Number 3 is the Museum of Gothenburg. The Museum of Gothenburg took up residence in the Swedish East India Company offices in 1861. The building is from the 1700s, and its permanent exhibitions document the history of Gothenburg from prehistory to the Industrial Age. Visitors can learn about the Vikings that once navigated the waters around Gothenburg and see exhibits from the Swedish Empire and the colossal project that created modern Gothenburg in the stormy 17th century. At number 2 is Slottskogen. One of the best free things to do for both locals and visitors in Gothenburg is to stroll around the beautiful 333-acre Slottskogen. This is a leafy park and mini zoo right in the heart of the city. With elk, seals, penguins, moose, and deer resident in the zoo, it's great for kids and they can also enjoy pony rides and see farmyard animals at the petting zoo. Many people also come here to relax and wander through the peaceful parklands and wild forest of maple, beech, and oak trees. And at number one is the Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Gothenburg. The Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Gothenburg is the best way to see all you want in this large port city, home to stunning architecture, world-class museums, and great attractions. From the beloved fish market to the historic harbor district, hop on and off whenever you like at all of Gothenburg's best, most convenient locations for sightseeing. Each bus is equipped with panoramic windows and guides giving helpful commentaries along the route. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Gothenburg. We hope you enjoyed. 
If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.